another wonderful day in Texas. Beautiful day. Mm -mm -mm. You know, we do beautiful Texas days. Cook some meat. That's what we're going to do. Got the pit balls fired up. Let's get the temperature all regulated. Probably let it sit, you know, let it regulate for an hour, hour or so, maybe a little longer. Uh, I've got a uh, camp out this weekend. So uh, I'm going to make a big batch of my uh, beef jerky. Take out and share with the guys. So it's been marinating all night long with all kinds of good flavors. It's all to be, it's going to be a good one. Excited about it. So uh, hang tight. We're going to do some Texas tea, beef jerky on the pit boss. I've got all my ingredients together. I used just throw them all together instead of separating them out like I usually do. Just save a little time and save some dishwashing. But uh, inside of this, I've got it all. I've got uh, Worcestershire sour sauce, teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, all mixed together, about a quarter cup each. Uh, then I've got um, cayenne pepper and paprika, and I've got bouillon and chili powder, garlic powder, black pepper onion powder along with uh, some habanero sauce and uh, some mesquite smoked barbecue sauce only like a tablespoon of that uh, that's about all the ingredients and I got brown sugar here and I'm gonna mix in with it we're gonna whisk this all up we're gonna pour right on top of that meat baby mmm yeah, we got all these ingredients mixed in I actually threw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, uh, I just kind of melt and infuse the sugar and whatever before I pour it in there. Whisk it up real good. Then, we simply gonna pour this right on top of this beef. Did not use liquid smoke this time because I'm going to do it on the smoker. Pit Boss Pelly Grill, so I do not need to add any smoke flavor. It will have plenty enough added to it during its cook. And throw in a Ziploc, get most air out that you can. Every single bit's not necessary. And hopefully I didn't tear this bag in any way. Get that all mixed in all around it. All around that beef. Yep. See, somehow I split it. And leave it to me. So, you get it all mixed up, and then I'm going to throw it in another Ziploc. Get rid of this one. Then we're going to marinate that. I don't know how long yet. I'll let you know, but we're ready to go. All right, our beef jerky has been marinating all night. I don't know, several pounds. I don't know. It's pretty heavy. That's well, a lot of beef jerky. Of course, it's going to shrink down quite a bit. I'm going to throw it in here, let it drain out, then transfer it over here, pat it down a little bit. Um, then I'll keep these juices, freeze them, and I'll use them for another jerky or another cook. So... That's what we're gonna do. Got this nice big pile of beef jerky, baby. All right. I'm not gonna pat it down like I said, like I do in the air fryer. So, uh, since we're gonna do it on the pellet smoker, I'm gonna leave it wet and let that uh, all dehydrate inside of it, on the outside of it, and uh, it'll, it'll, it'll do well. One thing I didn't say on my ingredients was uh, I did add about a half a cup of apple whiskey in my marinade last night, so. Uh, Got a little, little touch of R&R &R to it. Let's get this out on the smoker. All right, we're out here on the pit boss. I'm just gonna start layering this stuff. Hopefully I can get it all on one rack, pretty big racks. If not, I'll use two, but uh, I'm just gonna start layering these up here. Keep a little space in between them. 
possible fill this sucker up and try to keep my temperature 180 thereabouts and uh, it's gonna take about I don't know five to six hours and uh, we'll keep checking it about every hour all right I got it all laid out here at the pit boss get the smoking a lot of beef jerky there had entirely too much for two racks and uh, those are pretty large racks so I did a little third one there in the center we will get this closed up let it do its thing check it about every hour I'm not sure how long it's gonna take two and a half three five hours I don't know but we'll check it every hour get it going now we're gonna take a look at this it's been about two hours and 15 minutes I've got all kinds of probes going to this thing because as usual temperature doesn't seem to be right about to see what this see how we're looking here all right let's pull these off oh they're not even close not even close definitely got a long way to go on that on that rack at least maybe a little differently on these other racks nah we got a long way to go yep all right well we're two hours and 15 minutes in getting close to four hours in now see what we got happening here oh yeah much better much better now let's see still uh still a little chewy though looking much better these down here are looking kind of kind of kind of dark but yeah they still got a little chew these are very close on the bottom so i may uh, swap out these two racks let's see they look like bacon yeah, we're getting pretty close to where I want to be. I think I need just a little bit longer though. Alright, we're about four and a half hours into this. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. I've been fighting with temperature on this pit boss. Can't say it real good. I have better lighting for a bit. But I think we're going to be good to go on them. I don't know if any of you guys have this big pit boss here, but I've, I've always had a lot of problems with the temperature gauge. I think it's just incorrect. I don't know. I've had it overheat, air out, um, and just not regulate. So I've got two other probes I stuck in there, and they both read pretty close to the same. So I went off of that. So, I mean, it cooks well, but you just you got to watch it and pay attention because... Uh, doesn't regulate real well. Anyway, we're gonna pull these off. See what we got. I turn this sucker into an AR-15 target right here. Well, I've got it all pulled off. Um, pretty dark. That's for my ingredients, is, and it had a tremendous amount of smoke. Um, it's good. It's really tasty, but that pit boss, you know, it really. I mean, it's. It's overdone. So, I'm not real pleased with the pit boss. I probably won't use it again unless I get another one or get it fixed. But it tastes real good. And, I mean, you can eat it. It's, uh, you know, I've had some beef jerky that you got to chew on it for 20 damn minutes. And it's not like that. I mean, it's easy to, to bite off and, and eat. So, but just not pleased with this uh, pit boss the way it's doing me. So, it's too hot. Overdid it. Anyway, that's the results. Got to show you what happened. We'll try it again next time.